my name is Harsh and we are going to discuss the 16th problem from CP31 sheet by TLE Eliminators under the 1100 rating range. So let's move on to TLE Eliminators website. Here is the CP31 sheet, 1100 rating box is clicked and here is the clickable link to your 16th problem. So let's move on to the problem. So the name of the problem is Subsequence Addition and it's the hard version. So let's go through the problem. Initially, array A contains just the number 1. Now you can perform several operations in order to change the array. In an operation, what you can do is, you can select some subsequence of A and add into A an element equal to the sum of all the elements of the subsequence. So you are given in the final array C and you want to check if C can be obtained from the initial array A by performing some number, possibly 0 of operations on the initial array. And then they have given you the definition of subsequence. What do they actually mean by subsequence? And if you look, the constraints, n, was, n is of the order of 2 into 10 power 5. And uh, yeah. and array C, array C, that is the final array that you are obtaining. The size of that array is also of the order of 2 into 10 power 5. And if you can obtain this C from... Uh, if you can obtain this C, if initially you only have an integer 1 and if you can obtain this C by doing some operations, then you need to output yes, otherwise you need to output no. So let's understand what actually the question is and how we can solve this. So what is the question first of all? So you are given that you have an initial number as well. Okay, and you are given a final array that you are forming. So let me take an example from the given test cases. So let me take this particular example that the final array that we are getting is 11421. Let's suppose this is the final array that you are obtaining 11421. Now the question is that what you can do is if you have an array A you can select some subsequence of that A, add all the elements of subsequence and add the sum in the array. Like for example, if you let's suppose have an array 1, 2 and 3, okay. Now you can select any subsequence of this array. Let's suppose you select this particular subsequence, subsequence that contains 2, 3. So just you add the sum of the elements in the subsequence, the answer is 5 and insert 5 in this array. You may choose, uh, like, let's suppose you obtain this array. Now you can choose subsequence as 1, 5. You choose this as a subsequence. The sum of the elements is 6. You get 6 at the, you insert 6 in the array. And this is how you can select some subsequences, add the elements in the subsequence and insert the sum in the array. Now the question is, if initially you have only an array, you only have 1. You are starting only with 1. Then the question is that can you obtain, can you obtain this particular array? Can this particular array be obtained? If the answer is that yes, you can obtain this, then see out yes. Otherwise, you need to see out no. So this is actually what the question is. So before proceeding with the solution, let's discuss what should be the expected time complexity for this question. So if you look, n, was, n is of the order of 1 e 5, right? So any solution that works in big O of n or big O of n square root 10 or big O of n log n or anything lesser than big O of n right? big o, like big O of square root n or big O of log n something like this will always pass the constraints but if you are having any solution that is working in big O of n square or greater than that that will definitely produce T n. Right? So you have to design a solution that works within this time constraint. So how we can actually do this? So to actually get intuition of actually how we can solve this, let's build up our intuition with the help of this particular example where the initial array is 1, that is initial array contains only element 1 because you are starting with only element 1 and the array you are expecting at the end is 1, 1, 4, 2, 1. Okay. So let's see whether we can form this array or not. Let's see that. So you have initial number as 1, right? So you have to select a subsequence, right? And add the elements of the subsequence. Now, if you are selecting one, so what is the only option that you have? The only option that you have is you select this one as a subsequence, right? And the sum of the elements become one. So the array changes to one. So now you have two ones in the array. So you already got two ones. 
from the expected array. This is actually what your expected array is at the end, right? So you already got two ones. Now, let's suppose I want to get this particular one. How can I get this? I can select this as a subsequence. So I will get this one as my answer. So now my array changes to one, one and one. And this one is also obtained. Now let's suppose I want to obtain two. So what I can do, I can select this as a subsequence. So if I sum up the elements, the element sum will be one, 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 uh, the element sum will be two. So you simply insert two in the array and you get two as well. Now let's suppose you want to get, now the only element you want is four and you want to get four. So let's sub suppose your subsequence, you select the subsequence contains elements one, one and two. This is what your subsequence is. So the sum of the elements is four. You insert four in the array and you get this. So finally, you obtained all the numbers of the modified array, right? You obtained all the numbers of the modified array and hence you can say that for this particular test case, the answer will be yes. So how can we actually think of this? See, if I simply short this array, okay, one, one, four, two, one, if I simply short this array, one, 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 two, four. This will be the shorted array, right? Now tell me one thing. Tell me one thing. If I tell you that uh, you are initially having elements one. You are initially having one. So which elements can you get over here? As a second element, which element can you get? The elements that you can get is actually this values of sums that are possible. Right. So do you all agree that the only possible value that I get over here is only one? Because the sum can be only one, right? Because your subsequence, this is the only possible subsequence. So you obtain this array. Now for the third number, tell me what are the possible values that you can get? What tell me what is the what are the possible values that you can get? So if you look, you can select subsequence that contains only one. Or you can select subsequence that contains two ones, right? So in this case, the sum would be one and in this case, the sum will be two. So you can obtain any value that is lesser than equals to two. But what you required, you required one, right? So let's suppose you put one over here. Okay. Because you were able to obtain any value that is lesser than equals to two. So you can, you put one. Now the array contains three ones. Tell me, what is the possible fourth number that you can get? Your array contains three ones. So what are the possible options that you have? Either your subsequence is this, either your subsequence is this, or either your subsequence is this. Do you all agree? So in this case, the sum is one, in this case, the sum is three, and in this case, the sum is two. So you can obtain all the sums that is lesser than equals to three. And you want the number two. So you can definitely obtain two, right? So you simply put two over here. Okay. And now you desired for the fifth number what you can have over here. So let's see what we can have over here. The array contains 1, 1, 1 and 2. So the possible subsequences are 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. The subsequences, I am just uh, telling you the subsequences that is obtaining me the different sums. Okay. So then 1, comma, 1, comma, 2 and 1, 1, 1. So if you see, the sum over here is 1, the sum over here is 3, the sum over here is 2, the sum over here is 4, and the sum over here is 5. So you can obtain all the sums that is lesser than or equal to 5. And what number you desire? You desire number 4, right? So you can definitely obtain 4 as well. So if you look, if you look, when I wanted that what values of sum I can obtain over here, so that was nothing but you can obtain all the numbers lesser than equals to the sum of elements in the left. In this box, you can obtain all the numbers lesser than equals to sum of these numbers. In this particular box, you can obtain all the numbers lesser than equals to sum of elements in this particular box. So this is how actually you can solve this question. Like if I let's suppose want 4. And you see that, okay, the sum is lesser than equals to 5. This means definitely you can obtain 4. So you will see, you will take 4. And once you take 4, your sum will get incremented by 4, right? So this is how actually you are going to solve. So if I let's suppose just dry run for this particular example. 
so you have one so what is your sum your sum is one and the desired array is one 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 two four so you started with one now the next element that you want is one which is lesser than equals to sum so you put one over here and your sum gets incremented by one because you put one over here so your sum becomes two now the next element that you want is one which is definitely lesser than equals to sum right so you can definitely put this number and your sum gets incremented by one because you have put one so your sum becomes three now over here you want the number two and two is definitely lesser than equals to three right so what you can do is you can put two over here and your sum gets incremented by two so your sum becomes five next the number that you want is four and four is lesser than equals to sum you you have so definitely you can obtain this four and your sum gets incremented by four your sum becomes nine and since you have completely obtained the array c so you can definitely say that the answer is and now the intuition of why we actually shorted the array comes to our mind. Why we actually shorted the array? Because see, if I let's suppose had my desired array as 11142. So till this particular point, I had sum as 3, right? So I can't obtain 4 right now. But once I put 2 in my array, once I get my array something like this, now my sum becomes 5. So I can obtain all the numbers lesser than equals to 5. So at this point of time, I can definitely obtain 4. Right? So this is why we actually shorted the array and are going in through the elements in the shorted order. So this is actually how you can solve this question. So let's go through the code. So first of all, you took input of n, then you took input of n numbers, and then I shorted the array simply. Now, see. Since you are starting with the element 1, so your first element should definitely be 1, right? So if v of 0 is not equal to 1, you are simply printing no and returning. Otherwise, what you are doing is you are taking sum as 1 because you had only one element that is equal to 1, so your sum is 1. You are going to all indexes from 1 till n minus 1. So for int i equals to 1, i lesser than n, i plus plus. If v of i, that is the current element, is greater than whatever sum you have, so you are printing no and returning. Otherwise, your sum gets incremented by the current number that is v of i. If till now you have not printed no, so you will simply print yes and a new line. This is how actually you can solve this question. What's the time complexity? If you look, this code runs for n. This shorting takes time of n log n. This loop runs for n, shorting takes time of n log n and this loop takes time of n in the worst case. So you can say that the time complexity is big of n log n. What's the space complexity if you look? So you are making an array of size n and that's the only space that you are utilizing. So you can say that okay the space complexity is big of n and these are well within the constraints so you are good to go. So this is how actually you can solve this question. I hope all of you got it. Thank you.